KSPW Weather with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Hope you had a beautiful day. Got the break, got a little cleanup going. I know there were a few showers, but that was the break time. So tonight, round two, 52 to 59 today, Santa Cruz County. Not much of a range here, and our temperature is mostly middle and upper 50s under, well, varying amounts of overcast, depending on where you were and when. Uh, 30 degrees in Lake Tahoe right now, 50s in Sacramento, Fresno, Vegas at 53, and pretty much 50s all the way down into the Southland, 55 in Palm Springs, 59 in San Diego. We had the showers going today. They were rotating in, and of course, it was all snow showers up in the Sierra after about a foot or two of snow from last night's system. Uh, we start to see the Doppler radars picking up on some moisture in the clouds. Most of this is not reaching the ground yet, but again, it's re-moistening the atmosphere and getting us ready for more rain tonight. Uh, we have an area of low pressure that is forming up again. This is our second one. We have a cold front right here. We also have a lot of jet stream energy. So over the last four or five years, we haven't had a lot of systems with wind and heavy rain. We've had some heavy rain with the atmospheric rivers, but certainly no wind with those. Uh, this one, though, is ramping up. We have a really solid jet, which is just about making it to the West Coast, and that's the real difference here. Last year, we had El Nino. We had some huge storms out in the Pacific and monster swells and all of that, but the energy was out here that never reached the coast, so we had some rain events, certainly, but we didn't get a whole lot out of it. This year, the jet is really cranking across the Pacific, and that is good news news for us. So a lot of rain along your front and then behind it we'll see more showers as we go into the day tomorrow. But before that happens, we got to get into another round of moderate to heavy rain. You can see it lining up. The front is lining up during the morning hours. So we'll see rain starting at 10 30, 11 o'clock tonight going through tomorrow morning's commute. That system will exit, but it will be slow to do so. So we'll see lingering showers on and off through Friday. By Friday night into Saturday, we're not seeing a whole lot of rain activity. Could be a few scattered showers, but for the most part, we'll be dry there for a little bit. So there's your next break in terms of cleaning up and just kind of getting ready for uh, round three, which will be coming in Saturday night into Sunday morning. You can see the front is lined up along the coast and then it pushes through during uh, Sunday afternoon and it'll pretty much be done by Sunday night. But there'll be a lot of leftover showers Sunday night into Monday morning, but the bulk of the heavy stuff will be up into the Sierra and pushing into Southern California. And then there's another little impulse that could bring us another shower or so on Monday, but overall we'll be really done with the series, which will be good because by then we've had plenty of rain. Winter storm warnings up, not just tonight and tomorrow, but actually all the way through Monday morning. So if you're gonna try to get through on the Sierra, good luck. There will be some breaks. 80 will be opening and closing, 88 the same thing. Avalanches will be a big deal up there this weekend, and a lot of the resorts actually will be closed for a good part of this because they won't be able to dig out quick enough. The winds are going to be high, a lot of lifts shut down. So if you could rearrange your plans, I would do that and uh, settle in for next week after the sun comes back out and they dig themselves out once again. Microcast showing the rain showers moving in overnight tonight. We'll figure sometime between 10 and midnight, we start to see the steadier light rains and then it becomes heavier through the night. Now the timing on the front is so critical because it's coming through right in the morning rush. This is about 5 a.m. Now our models, nobody's models can pinpoint these things down to the hour, but we're gonna say sometime between a high five and eight. It's a big difference, right? If you're getting on the road at five and it is hammering with 30 mile an hour winds and heavy downpours, it's gonna be very slow. If this thing times out right by seven, the front may be past us by, which will be good because the wind will shift, it'll lighten up, and the heavy steady rain will move off into the Central Valley and the southern parts of the Salinas Valley. But again, the morning commute either way will be will be really slow, but it could be it could be treacherously slow tomorrow, so leave plenty of extra time. By tomorrow afternoon, just some leftover showers again on and off through the afternoon into the evening. Even Saturday morning, you know, maybe some isolated showers, but that's our break time before the next round. We also have a wind advisory. This time we've left out the the valleys, mostly the Salinas Valley and Santa Clara Valley, because we're not expecting the strongest winds to hit them. We can see 30 to 50 mile an hour gusts anywhere where you see the, the shaded. So that's Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz Mountains around the peninsula, and of course the Santa Lucias. That could take some more trees down, could be some isolated power outages, and of course some rocks on the road and some mud. There's the timing of the front again. Heavy rain and wind come through at the same time between about 4 and 7 a.m., and your wind advisory goes until 10. The winds will lighten up tomorrow afternoon. Your forecast for tonight, rain becoming steady and heavy at times and gusty south winds. Again, they could gust between 30 and 50 miles an hour overnight tonight towards the wee hours of the morning. 51 to 57 tomorrow. We kind of get a break in the afternoon there. We'll put rain showers in, but again, the steady rains will be over late morning. 
Your KSBW eight day forecast giving us a break here on Saturday with just some isolated showers, but the clouds will be around Saturday night. The next round comes in through Sunday morning and then leftovers again Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. And then we take a, an extended break as we head towards the middle of the week and dry weather comes back. It, it, it'd be nice to drain a little bit, you know? Oh, yeah. It'd be dry be nice to drain for about bit. 10 days. Yeah, yeah it'd be <laughs> you nice. Know, January was But we'd, we'd like some more rain after that. So. We want to keep going in February yeah. Yeah. and exactly. March, maybe April. Okay. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, we've, well, we've actually gonna already, we're going to hit, I was checking Santa Cruz. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know the exact number. They were probably around 30, 32, 33 inches last year. They've already pushed in 25. They'll be close to 30 probably, you know, by the end of right. the series. Yeah. So they've almost had as much rain as they had all last all year. It's, it's all good news. Yeah. Oh, it's great news. The reservoirs are coming up. The Sierra yeah. is, you know. We've done okay so far. Piling up the snow. We'll so. take it. Yeah. All right.